Hey guys, welcome to Master Gaming VR. We are once more back in your VR. Um, the videos that I did over the weekend were right before the uh, devs released. Uh, it was seems like a substantial release. Um, and they had uh, made a comment on Reddit that it was really frustrating that, uh, you know, the Steam backend was down, they couldn't get up the game before the weekend, and it's really disheartening to see reviews come out prior to you know, a big update like that, so I figured I'd take another crack at it um, and log anything that I, I saw so that they might be able to use it. The first thing I noticed is that um, I was just in another VR game, and the left and right controllers were set up correctly, hadn't shut Steam down or anything, they still show up with the wrong hands. So I don't think that is Steam doing that, I think that that's just a, a mismatch setting somewhere. Anyways, let's go ahead and jump into the game. Um, one of the things that I might have uh, missed in my ingot crafting video uh, was the settings for the FOV. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I set that this time, which I did in the first video and it still popped up. So we're going to do ultra graphics, advanced, um, lens mature, Sure. Sure. Mirror mode. Okay. Where did it go? Movement. It was under movement. FOV reduction is still all the way to the left. I'm assuming that that's all the way off. Um, mock speed. Pump that up because I prefer that. Movement mode. D pad controller. Which. Yeah. D-pad mode, D-pad hover, joystick mode, we don't want that. And leave it like that, and zoom, so I want this over here, nope, so this is bound to my camera look as opposed to my hand, so that's not what I want. Give me a minute to get this situated. Okay, let me go back into the menu. Do do do, do. movement D pad hover. Let's try that. Zoom. Okay. D-pad, D-pad hover works. That's what I want. All right. So welcome to your VR. Do, 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 do. Tools and weapons will attach to your right hand. We read all of this, I believe. Okay, my motion just stopped working. That's weird. So at the very top, it doesn't register. Okay. Yeah, it's going in and out like this. Let's see, what are the other options? Alright, movement. Joystick mode. Joystick mode we don't like. D pad controller. Okay. This is what we want. Actually, pressing the button down. Okay. Um, none of this looks new. Yeah. I don't think that we'll be able to get in here. Yeah, nope. So let's go ahead and go out here. Oh, hey, we got our quest giver. And we start right in front of him. And it's reset by movement. Yeah. All right, you can see the FOV. I turn the FOV off, and it's encroaching in on me. Let me go ahead and pull up the. Was it in? Is it movement? Yes. Let's crank it all the way to the right-hand side just to make sure we don't have 
up and down mixed up. And let's start walking. Nope. It's doing it even faster this time. Okay. So movement. Drop this back down. Back. Resume. And we're walking. So. Mm, yeah. Okay. Okay. I don't I don't think you need wood to kill you. Okay. Okay, so this does not lock like a tool does. Uh, that might be handy if it locks your hand. Um, otherwise, I'm going to have to hold the trigger down while moving around and moving with the, the touchpad. Um, it's going to get a little cumbersome, I think. Uh, so he wants seven wood and to place it in the bin, I think he said. So let's go get some wood. So this was a pretty major update. We don't have any buildings now. So we have to go to a designated green circle, don't we? Or does he want me to pick the thing up that I already picked up? No? I don't see a green circle anywhere. There we go. Catch. That's a wall, not a catch. Okay. So I think you can just, yeah, you can just sort of squish them with the bucket. So technically that's a bug, but they did say that they were leaving that in for now. So I've got all the wood I need. And I don't recall where he said to stick it. Is it in there? Or did he want it in there? We'll go get more. We'll stick seven in each. Damn it. Let's grab the two we've already got. Squish and squish. Quicker cooldown on the chop would be nice. You have to go nice and slow and deliberate. Squish, squish, squish. All your squishy resources are belong to me. Right. See, so can we just dump it directly in here? Apparently not. Out. Okay. Out. It worked last time. Yeah, I did set that down last time. Okay, that works.
There we go. Did you say a work of cart? Shut up. Sure. Okay. No, oh, that's nifty. I have a belt. I have a belt. Where? Oh, there. It seems like it's way off to the side, but that's handy. I'm guessing that is for my house. So we're already seven up on that. Take the basket and I don't know, we'll do the basket. Can we hook the basket up here? No, no we cannot. How does the hook work? Oh, just like that. Hmm. Somehow I got it stuck on my hand. Alright, we're gonna leave this here on the table. And take a walk with our cart. Seems like it's gotten a little bit better. It's less bouncy. Yeah, it still does weird things. But less weird things than before. Admittedly, I am trying to do weird things with it. That would not work with a cart in real life. Okay. Give me this. Some of them are getting in there. Sweet tree. All right, Let's stick this on our belt. It's much nicer than throwing it. That's a wall. Much nicer than throwing it on the ground like I was doing in the last version. I'm getting some graphical stutter here. After we cut all this wood out, I don't know if it's the wood's fault or if I just up to the graphics too much. My Titan X handles most things, but not all of them. It's a non Pascal Titan X. I need to get me a couple of the new Pascal Titan Xs. Those would be very nice. So I am going to. Actually, I'm going to leave it and I'm going to dump the sweat off and see if it changes. Come on. And pull it behind. So we might have a little cook fire. I wonder if that's going to be part of the survival element. Cooking your own food. Alright, where is my chaperone bounds here? I don't want to smack another wall. Just throw these over my shoulder. Hope I make it in the thing. And I got most of them in the thing. Nice. Alright. How much is that? 21. I just need a couple more. For that I can grab the basket. I'd like a less of a cool down on the swing so I could hack at this tree quicker. 
The, the only cooldown should be my swinging. Just do it, you know, I prefer a velocity check so that I can't, like, wiggle my hand. I get that that's probably what you're trying to stop, or they're trying to stop, but there you go. I think I squished too many. Okay. Wasn't exactly what I wanted to do. And now my basket is lost forever. Yeah. Nice. Get back in there. Seems to not have gotten any better, so I will lower my graphic settings as soon as I grab all the rest of this wood. Perfect. Let's go dump this off. And another piece over here. Where did this one come from? That's it. Whoa, no. What are you doing? You exploded everywhere. And 34 pieces. Alright, let's go ahead and see if we can fix this. Drop it down to high. Nope. I wanted to go back. Up does not work. Alright. It's a little bit better. Let's drop it down again. Let's go all the way down and see if it helps. Did not go all the way down. Lowest. Oh wow, that looks bad though. It helps, but I don't think I can play on lowest. I'm not a lowest kind of guy. I'll go back to high and just deal with it. Okay, maybe not. I'll give it medium. Still seeing a little bit of it, but it's better than before. Alright, so what do I do now? I don't think he told me. Do I need to put him in there? Oh, boy. Well... Difficult when I can't reach in. Yeah, that's not going to work. Probably should have put him in the right spot to begin with. triggers it to come out. Does it, is it the rotation? Okay. Grab more wood. gonna be the last one. Alright, so I'll grab it from the bottom and then rotate it slowly. Nope. Yeah, see that's just weird. I don't get it. It is what 
18, I think. 20. So this should be the last round. grab any more out of that, so I'll have to go cut them. Alright, two more. We can do that. Sure I can't. Grab two more from here. No, I can't. I'm ready to punch somebody. disappeared into moss. There we go. Alright, now if I'm right, this should be what triggers the next step. Nice. So emo. Wow, my cart is inside my house. Whoops. Yeah. Impressive. All right. Hey, free wood over there. Can up. Oh. My cart is coming. Maybe. Come here, boy. Come here. You can do it. Come here, Fido. Yay, good boy, Fido. All right. Hi ho, hi ho. It's off to work we go. There's plenty of nice rocks over there. deer yet. Nope. I stand corrected. Dear me. Text. What does the text say? Mine and chop down rocks and trees to gather iron, stone, and coal. I don't think we're going to chop down trees and get iron. So let's start with the rocks. much new here in this department, except for the belt. Yay, belts! So, coal will go in the back. Stone can go in the center.
in the air and goes up front. I was thinking that I might speed this up, but I think that I will leave it. And the reason why is so that you can see things like this, where my controllers are going all over the place. But also so you can adequately judge how much time in the new version it takes to create a single ingot. This hopefully will end with creating the ingot. Maybe we'll go farther if he has more quests for us. Pull the cart closer, but I'm going to go on the other side after I pick this stuff up. And it just sort of defeats the purpose to bring it farther away. So this update does not seem to be as performant as the previous ones. Looks like I got all the rocks. This, I think, is just part of the rubble. Yep. All right. We need more coal. A lot of it. I don't think that there was really uh, any ambient background music last time. Kind of like what they've got going on. It's better than the silence. Feels very thematic. All right, let's go ahead and knock this down, and then pick up the pieces, and we shouldn't need too much after that. We can't see where we're at. Yeah, we'll probably be good with iron, I think. Surprisingly, coal is what we have the least of. that all of them know there are two more all right so let's see here it's hard to count so so I can't get inside there anymore one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve three four five six seven eight nine ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right. Oh shit. No. I wanted to get them better on, not knock them all off. Oh, 
also didn't want to grab that. Alright. So let's go walk over that way. And hope that none of my stones fall out. Speaking of stones falling out... Stop falling out, please. Right, this is one, two, three, four. Okay, they didn't fall out in last build. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. So we still need the same amount, I think. Looks like I missed a couple over here. Or they fell out really badly. The belt is really nice. I like the belt. I'm gonna take a knee. It's also the two-handed. I haven't tried that. Hmm. That actually seemed to have an impact that time. See. Yeah, so it takes two swings. No, it doesn't. Never mind. That was my psychosis. I thought with two hands it was taking one swing, and with one hand it was taking two swings. But it was all in my head. I think I just need more coal after this. I'm going to grab the coal and head out. falling out. Oh, that's stuff I didn't pick up from last time. If that's the case, then I should have already been done. My cart is pooping coal. Right. Round these two pieces, and we will be good to go back and see Mr. Bones. If my rocks stop falling out of the cart. No more missing rocks. And we're off. And damn it. Stop falling out. Okay. And you go up there.
I just jumped the cart. So I did forget to mention that this is the uh, Dear Brain D Dumber update. So it is the latest update as of this recording. I don't remember what the hotfix number was. But the Dear Brains have been de-dumbified. That's the important part. The important part to me is Mr. Bones and whether or not he's been denumified. We'll see that in a minute. All right. Yeah, see, that's what I'm trying to avoid. It's really hard to get stuff out of the cart it now reacts to my body. that and we've got some extra Let's get stone in here now it doesn't want to go over the edge I guess that works did I drop one I dropped one so that is 10 to 15 stone. Got to kind of lean back and reach. Try to keep my head away from the cart so that it doesn't register my body as being inside of it. Alright, that is all 15 stone. Whoa. What the hell? Okay. Sure. What that? Right. Each eight of fifteen. Nope. Can't do that. We're gonna have to move this card some. It's gone crazy. I should have run in a better area. Five more. It's pretty inconsistent on whether or not I can pull it through here or not. So that's weird. All right. Yes, we do. Okay. Does that mean I hit the build button? I'm just going to go ahead and press the build button. Boop. Okay, you gonna finish the instructions this time? Let's use what I already have in here.
Damn it. We're just gonna throw it over there. Over there. And we've got some iron to throw up there. Let me center myself. It's very easy to get uncentered in this game. My nails look so clean. Alright. So I'm in the center of my sh uh, chaperone area, trying to grab this piece of coal. Alright, this should have been, what, three and four? So I don't know if that went in or not. No, I didn't want you. That's weird. No, I do have something. Come on. You can do it. Magic. That should be 10, but let's go ahead and put in another one just for anti-screwing up. Because I don't know if that other one went over the edge. Should need six of these. I don't know where that piece went. There it is. Should be enough, but again, just to be sure, let's throw another piece in. Another magic, magic piece. Abracadabra. There you go. Boop. All right. So I get the bellows going. You're gonna tell me what to do, right? Thank you. That was odd. Whoa. Okay. Now what? You, you missed hitting it with a hammer. Okay. That was a horrible throw. Eh, I'm a god. I can grab this with my hand. Bellows. Hey, we have our ingot. Your beautiful furnace? Hey, I built it. Yeah, well, that cooled better this time. Alright, so use this where now? Over here? 
iron one. Boop. All right, now I can sell things. And that seems to be the end of his lecture. So we can build a light weapon saw, which will then need two gold for a bow again. I think that that will be enough for tonight. And we won't necessarily need to go into all that. But Mr. Bones is working, and he does properly tell you how to make the ingot. So I wonder if he continues on, since he's still got the green circle, after we have created the weapons cart. Thank you for working. And shake your hand. So it is... Um, I, I can see the frustration that the devs had. It is night and day. Uh, difference between um, what I played over the weekend and what they released on Monday. I would love to go get a bow and do some of the hunting. There's actually some game plan motivation to start unlocking some of the things that we just had. Um, so here is a blacksmith forge. So we could build that up, the wooden frame, piece by piece. We did that in the first video. I'm assuming it's the same. We've got some floating uh, tools there, which I'm guessing should not be there yet. I doubt that the world has been expanded, and I don't want to take too much time just running around and seeing the, if the invisible walls are still there or not, but this is a pretty significant update. A lot of the things that just plain didn't work when they were here, um, I'm curious about. It says zero of zero. Hmm. Well, I can pick them up, so there's that. Check out the lake. See how that's doing. So one thing to note is that all of my progress was uh, trashed with this update. Um, and it's not like I could have chosen to update or chosen not to update. Well, I mean, maybe I could through Steam, but everything I have just by default is auto-update. So it would have just automatically wiped everything without any warning. Um, and if I had taken the time to build my city up, that would be a little perturbing. Uh, this game is a considerable amount of work, so keep that in mind when you're deciding to opt into the early access. That is part of an early access game. I don't know if you guys were seeing that little graphical tweak with the rock there, but... Let's see... We drown? Nope. So the water is still. Um, I just walk under it. I don't know. I'm not sure if it's enough to change my mind yet. It's an early access game and they have done a lot. So it has uh, given me a bit more hope than I had from before. It's still got a lot of work to do uh, before it is ready for that $20 price tag, I think. It does seem like a, a solid game is uh, shaping up, though, much more so than the the, the previous build that I played. Um, I would like to, I think I mentioned this already, uh, unlock that uh, weapons cart, get that two gold for the bow if it's still two gold and uh, take a crack at hunting, and maybe I'll post a hunting video sometime later this week once I actually take the time to go out and do that. Uh, but yeah, this is a really good start. 
It's a really tiny little iron rock. But yeah, I would say that there are some performance issues at the moment that I did not have in the previous build. But I am, uh, I am hopeful again for the game. So, I will say that. I don't think that it's $20 worthy at the moment, but I am hopeful for future updates, more so than I was before. And I think I will end on that note. Uh, off screen, I will try to uh, build these up because I don't think me walking around hacking at trees and carrying it back here is very interesting gameplay for you guys. Um, so I'll do that off screen and then do maybe a short little 5-10 minute video on hunting. Uh, so look forward to that later on this week. Uh, if you want to catch that, please hit that subscribe button, uh, like the video, leave a comment down below. What do you think of the difference from the previous build to this build? Uh, do you like the change? Do you think that it's going in the wrong direction? Leave a comment down below. Let me know. I will see you guys in the next video. I love quit buttons.